he knows his strength is gone on the football field because there are younger boys who are running. So you've not seen Messi or Ronaldo in all the games. It is just that, who is able to extract the best out of the given situation? Namaskaram Sadhguru, you are a football fan. In your view, who is better between Messi and Ronaldo? See, this is the whole thing. On a given day, maybe I can play better than Messi. But that doesn't make me better than him because he's got... He's climbed through the steps, all right? One ball, if he kicks into the goal, it may go above the goal. If I kick, it may go in. So I'll say, I'm better than Messi. It doesn't work like that. So it's not who is better than whom. It is just that, who is able to extract the best out of the given situation? Well, because you're talking about an international game, Messi has had the fortune, I would say, to win that game. Because as everybody could see, he's lost his pace still got fantastic skills, but he doesn't have speed, he's not able to run with the young boys, he's not able to retain the ball, but he's very good. So he realizes that, he's not a fool to try to outrun those young boys and kill himself. He's just giving the necessary passes and making the difference. That's a smart man, isn't it? Very smart man. He's not thinking I should score. He's just making sure the ball is in the right place so that somebody scores. So he's using his skills, he knows his strength is gone on the football field because there are younger boys who are running, you know, always two, three steps ahead of him. So this whole thing about, now what you're asking is, is a jasmine flower better or a rose flower better? So you've not seen Messi or Ronaldo in all the games. If you see both of them in variety of club games that they've played, which is where their skills were largely exhibited, in international games, they're little out of place because it's not their regular teammates. Uh, international games are a little rougher, not by the rule, because national emotions are there. These fine players cannot play very well there. Ruffians play better. <laughs> very fine players cannot play very well in international games. In the club games, everybody's a professional. They play a certain level of game. There they will excel. So both of them have excelled beautifully in their clubs. Well, sometimes when you made a wrong choice of entering a wrong club and stuff, even if you're a great player, say Ronaldo sits on the bench in Manchester, Manchester United, because issues, other issues other than football will come up. Ronaldo did his best, but towards the end I think he could not do his best because he couldn't handle the situations and the realities of life at the age of thirty-seven, what he should be. I think Messi handled that situation of his age gracefully, and I think it paid off for him. And it's not all in his hands, the team and the situations, the opposition teams, many, many things are there. So if you want to see in the finals, is Bappe better or Messi better? Bappe is way better. He's playing like Pelé, all right? But things didn't work. Things didn't work, he's only twenty-three. He's moving faster than almost anybody in the entire tournament, but couldn't win. In the end, that's all that matters. This is what you need to understand. What we are doing in our lives is not all ours. Many things are there. It's happened to you many times, you hit the tree but it went on the green. Oh, that's how you win <laughs> It happens. You hit, you think you hit a great shot but it bounced somewhere else. You hit a bad shot, but it came back where it should be. Well, all these factors are there. So don't go looking for luck hitting the trees. No, you do your best. What happens is not all yours. That goes for even the best champions of champions, all right? No question. So it's not right at any time that you don't pose this question even to yourself. Am I better than the guy who's sitting next to you? Don't do this. What is the best I can do? That's all.